fastest sandwich trick you've ever seen. I'll make it an obvious one. Go ahead, take it out. Show the camera, make sure they see it. Six of spades, that's a good choice. Now we said this was the fastest uh, sandwich trick you've ever seen, so there you go. The six of spades between the two aces. Now we're gonna put those aces aside and I'm gonna make this even faster and even more impossible. If you watch the six of spades go into the middle, you see it here, and I've got the two aces. Now what I'm gonna do is on a count of three, you're gonna see that six jump between these two aces and possibly across across my lap here. One, two, three, just like that. And it appears your six spades. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, bonus video for your Friday. I hope you enjoyed that little intro, a little simple sandwich trick. Sleight of hands, always fun. Today, we're looking at the Go Puzzle Box. This is by, I don't even know who it's by because I left my paper over there. Be right back. This is uh, the work of Yasuaki Kikuchi. This is uh, the work of Yasuaki Kikuchi. I'm sorry if I'm absolutely butchering that name. Maybe you guys can read that name here. Yasuaki Kikuchi. This box is made of walnut, magnolia, kiyaki, acrylic, and iron, and it says etc. <laughs> so, etc. Can you see through the secrets of this gimmick and mechanism? Uh, not yet, Kikuchi. Let's get into let's get into solving it. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it looks cool. Looks like uh, this thing rotates, by the way. It looks like uh, cool, like. I don't know, I like the font. I like the style of it. Very mid-century modern. And I look forward to getting into it. So... Go. I got that common song in my head now. Go, go. And on a count of three, go, go. Get copy struck, go, go. Uh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <sighs> okay, enough joking. This is, uh, this is a dope looking puzzle, man. This is like, this looks exactly like, you know, something you'd find in like a mid-century modern office, like uh, something out of, something out of Mad Men, you know what I mean? Just really simple, looks like a kid's toy, but is it that simple? I don't know. Uh, one thing I do know is that this rotates and that these sides can move up and the bottom side can also slide. And I'm guessing the bottom side, I'm guessing, uh, might be the last thing to go open, but I don't know. Oh, let's do this. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. There we go. The puns keep coming. All right, so I know if I do this, this, and this, none of those sides open. So if I turn it here, A. Okay, just that side. Does the bottom open now? It does not. Uh, there is a cool magnetic reaction here that is definitely held by a magnet on both ends. So even to come down here, there's like a snap here. And then to come up, there's another the magnet there, which is really cool. That's really satisfying when solving it. You feel that, you know what I mean? So let's turn this. Okay, so that went here and that one opened. So if I go here, would this one open? No. This one? No. This one? No. That's where we started. So let's go this way. This way. Let's come out. This might even come out, I don't know. Oh, wait, what? It went from here. Why does this open now? Now it's locked. Now it opens, okay. Alrighty. Oh, you see, yep, the drawer's on the bottom here. And that drawer can come out once all the sides are lifted. And there you go, solved. Boop, 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 boop. 
Well, that's cool. Uh, not entirely sure how the mechanisms work and due to, okay, so those pins fall into these little holes here. However, I'm not quite sure how they are unlocked. So let's see here. We got that down. That's down. Do they all just go down? And now can I just put them all up? Oh, now locked again. Okay, so let's try this again. On diagonal. Weird. Oh, now it's locked. That is so weird. Also, this G kind of looks like an arrow going this way, right? So maybe it's like, cause that arrow, does that make sense? Okay, one more time to try and understand what the heck's going on here. Ah, full turn, baby. That's what it is. That is so sick. That's an arrow, look at that. What a cool discovery. Man, that's clever. Cool. And hot dang. Um, we solved it. The mechanism here is really cool. Uh, so this G, as I discovered, also acts as an arrow. And if you turn it in that direction, and you gotta turn like one full turn. There we go, that one, you gotta turn it one full turn again. And then that one, you gotta turn it one full turn again, and that one. Because if you don't turn it full turn, look, it's stuck until you turn it a full turn and then it opens, and then the bottom slides out, and there you go, super interesting mechanism, and like a nice toy, what a, what a fun, whimsical box. Really, really enjoyed this. Uh, like he said in the beginning, there's a mechanism that we're familiar with, uh, but he sort of devised it, and using, you know, using the arrow here in the font was very, very clever, I do appreciate that. Guys, let me know if you like this video, smash like if you did, Subscribe if you're new here, and we'll see you on Monday or another video. Monday, by the way, uh, we're doing a playing card review on a super, super rare deck that I ordered months ago that just arrived, and uh, I wanna take a look at it and share it with you. So we'll see you then. Peace.